So Becky from the alumni office asked Leonard and me if we would be willing to help in a fundraising exercise. And so we said, sure. The idea was that Leonard, who always plays Aristotle in Core 250, and I, who always play Plato in Core 250, would give the reasons why Plato and Aristotle think that someone should give to Whitworth. The idea was that then alums would designate the gift as in the name of Plato or in the name of Aristotle. So I have been walking around dressed like this. It really ought to be Leonard. I, I don't understand why people didn't give to Plato. Why didn't you give to Plato? So I got up this morning, put on this sheet, which is supposed to be my chiton. That is what the Greeks had, not a toga, that's Roman, but close enough. Anyway, I left this morning for work. I'm teaching logic. And of course, I'm dressed like this, trying to help them understand how to do a proof in logic and prove what is valid. Like this is logical in any way, shape, or form. As I was heading out of Dixon after teaching logic, who do I run into but our associate provost, Randy Michaelis. And of course, Randy has to give me a hard time about how I'm dressed, asking me questions about is that an appropriate way for a full professor to be dressed and so on, when I had to do this. I went to the hub. After I got something to drink, I ran into Adam Nieder from Theology and Olivia, one of my students. And of course, they had to ask me, why are you dressed like that? What is your problem? And so we had a good conversation where I explained. Then I go out into the loop. Who do I run into but Esther Louie and Larry Burnley? And of course, they want to know why I'm dressed like this, make some silly jokes about it, and I had to explain it again. As I'm walking across the loop, there's Hans Beinagel, my dear, dear colleague and director of our library, who of course wants to know what is going on. Why am I dressed like this? Good question. Not to mention all the students I met, but that's what you do, I guess.